Massive allegations coming in from Canada, but now Canada has sacked an Indian diplomat over killing of a pro-Khalistan leader in Canada. A top Indian diplomat has been expelled by Canadian government. Trudeau is accusing the Indian government of killing Nijjar. Trudeau has sacked the Indian diplomat in Canada. It's absolutely shocking. Remember, these are pro-Khalistan activities, anti-India activities that had been long surfacing in Canada. Rather than take any action against it, he is now willing to snap ties and has expelled a senior Indian diplomat. Let's listen in to this reaction that's coming. We've been clear we will not tolerate any form of foreign interference. We will protect Canada's sovereignty. I have conveyed these principles to my Indian counterpart, and I've also told him that we expect India's full collaboration to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And as of today, and as a consequence, we've expelled a top Indian diplomat from Canada. Let's go across to our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, with the latest on that. Uh, Geeta, this is big news, uh, expelling uh, the Indian diplomat. This is not looking good. And definitely India is not uh, a country to take this lightly. We thought Canada was a friendly nation, but sacking Indian diplomat and uh, accusing us, uh, in, accusing India government of, uh, of shooting dead a pro-Khalistan leader. What exactly is the reason, do you think, Canada has uh, taken this decision? And what exactly has Trudeau's government said? Well, uh, this is a major allegation and a huge diplomatic round now between India and Canada with the Canadian administration saying that after their investigation, it is clear that uh, an, in, that Indian agencies were involved in the killing of Hadi uh, uh, Singh Nijjar. And the fact that this is, uh, uh, this is state involvement and that their sovereignty has been violated. Uh, so a huge diplomatic row. Uh, Canadian Prime Minister also going ahead and saying that uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the killing uh, of Harjit Singh Nature was uh, because of the involvement of uh, Indian agencies and the matter was taken up with uh, the Indian uh, Prime Minister on the sidelines of the G20 summit. So uh, we saw a lot of cold vibes between the two uh, leaders. Uh, mm. uh, the, the Canadian Prime Minister also, you know, not uh, being warm with, uh, with Prime Minister Modi. Uh, the reasons we thought were only because of towering of size, but this looks like bigger than that. It is a major, major incident hmm. uh, and uh, between India and Canada. Canada alleging of involvement yes. in the killing on Canadian soil. That makes it very, very big. So now we do know that there, that there is a major reason why the, the ties between the two countries True. have soured and this. But we will also have to wait and see what is the evidence that Canada is now going to provide to India. They have made allocations. That's and, the point. Uh, Geeta, that's the point. And I want to go across to Gaurav Savant for that, for a country to make such a shocking, not only an allegation, believing, saying that they believe India is behind it, as they say, the Indian government, uh, but also expelling an Indian diplomat. Where is the evidence? They sh shouldn't they have put evidence first to actually put their case? Because this doesn't help Canada at all. So, uh, you know, uh, a kind of nationalism is being whipped up, a feeling of nationalism is being whipped up in Canada right now uh, ahead of elections, uh, saying that a Canadian citizen has been shot dead, hmm. uh, uh, completely overlooking the fact that it was some kind of an internal fight uh, where a terrorist was shot dead and a separatist was shot dead uh, in, in a fight outside of Gurdwara. And as you very rightly find, pointed out, What's the evidence? Canada for some time has been talking about alleged foreign interference in internal activities of China. And look at the, the Canadian double speak. Absolutely Chinese police stations being set up uh, yes. and Chinese, uh, you know, actions in Canada uh, for quite some time. But this is, this is just an issue where, uh, you know, a, a spirit of nationalism uh, is being whipped yes. up in Canada getting others to support it. In fact, they are now flying, they're uh, sending their leaders to the United Kingdom. Rishi Sunak uh, is being approached. Uh, you know, the Canada is trying to whip up some kind of international support, drum up some kind of international support. Hmm. That appears to be happening. Uh, evidence hasn't been shared, at least not in public domain just as yet. 
about uh, what is this involvement of foreign agents, mm. uh, uh, you know, in the killing of Hadeep Singh Nijjar. Uh, you know, several Khalistanis have been saying uh, that Indians uh, are involved or Roy is involved in mm. killing, but where is that evidence? Point two, uh, India's repeated request to take action against these separatists who are harming Canada's interests. That has completely been ignored by government of Canada. So, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, mm. I, I would think that India will also put out a lot of evidence of uh, uh, you know, involvement of these Khalistani uh, terrorists uh, and, and warn government of Canada that all of these activities are detrimental to Canada's national security, especially with the involvement of these Khalistani elements, whether it is to do with narco-terrorism, mm. which is harming Canada, or human trafficking, trafficking, which again is harming Canada. And like you and I were discussing, there's a long history to it, Correct. from the Kanish bombing to, uh, to the, these uh, recent incidents where these alleged referendums have been taking yes. place in Canada for a separate Sikh state. So it's all vote bank politics and Trudeau's dependence on these Khalistani elements to win elections that he's resorting to such desperate measures.